Hi, today we're going to be taking a look at one of the cheapest adjustable power supplies you can make or buy at home. Now this is based on the LM2596 and this particular board has adjustable voltage. There's another one you can buy which has adjustable voltage plus current limiting and it's pretty much the same price. Um, unfortunately I didn't see that there were two different boards and I bought the one that only has adjustable voltage but that's still just fine for me. Now these boards are really cheap. You can buy these from eBay Hong Kong for around two pounds or 140 peso, and that includes free shipping. This is a step down regulator, which means if you put in, for example, 20 volts, on the output, you could adjust it anywhere from 1.25 volts up to around 19 volts. So you can't get out as much as you put in. So if you put in 20, the most you could get out is around 19. If you put in 30, the most you could get out is say 29, um, and then all the way down to 1.25 volts. Now I'm powering this with a 19 volt laptop power adapter. Um, the laptop is long dead, but I kept the power adapter and now I'm using it to power this. So I'll plug that in and you can see it run. Okay, so I've got it plugged in now, and you can see the input voltage is reading as 18.8 volts. And if I press this button here, it shows the output voltage, which is currently set to 12.1. And if I adjust this pot, you see it's going up 14, 16, and I can take it all the way to the top, which is around 18.3. That's a maximum I can get out based on what I'm putting in. And if I take it all the way to the bottom, Hopefully you can see this on camera. To take it all the way to the bottom. It takes a second or so for the screen to update. So you do have to wait before you connect anything just to make sure it's sitting on the right voltage. So you can see I've taken it all the way down to 1.1 volts. So what could you do with this? Well, this is great for around the house when you have something that you want to power and it needs 5 volts or 6 volts or 3 volts and you have to keep looking for the right power source. So here I have a USB fan which is of course 5 volts. So I'm going to set the LM2596 to 5 volts. Oops. Okay, so it's a little bit high, 5.5, let's bring it down a bit. Okay, that's good enough. There you go, 4.9, 5 volts, good enough. And then on my output side, I've attached two crocodile clips and I'll connect that to the fan. Connect the final crocodile clip. Oops. And you can see, hopefully, the USB fan is now spinning. If I turn it off, at the back it's got a switch. And if I turn it back on again, as you can see it powers just fine. So I'll disconnect that. Now imagine I want to power this little Wi-Fi router. It says input of 12 volts, so I'll adjust my little regulator here to 12 volts. Okay, we're on 10 volts. 12, bring it down just a little bit. Now you don't have to be exact because most devices have their own voltage regulator inside anyway. So even if you're a little bit higher or a little bit lower, it's not gonna cause an issue. So this one is set to 12.1. Now let's connect it to the router. Just make sure these wires don't touch. And there you go, the router is now turned on. And I did test this earlier, um, connected to it, and it was working just fine. So that's the voltage, um, adjustable voltage regulator, pretty much doing exactly what we want. Now this is a switch mode regulator. So unlike the linear regulators like the LM7805, for example, or the um, LM, is it 316, the adjustable one? Um, unlike those linear regulators, this one won't get so hot. Um, you know, with the say the LM7805, if you put 12 volts into that and run a 5 volt fan, you won't be able to touch the regulator. It'll be so hot that you'd need a heat sink. Now, the maximum amount of power that you can push through these varies between sellers how much they say. Um, some of them will say no more than 2 amp, uh, 10 watts. Some of them say, um, say 5 amp up to 
40 watts. Anything higher, you have to add a heat sink. So there does seem to be some variance between the boards. So before you buy one, check what the specs are for the specific board that you're buying. And like I said earlier, this one is only the voltage regulator, but they also sell one pretty much the same price, which has current limiting. So if you have the choice, you might as well go for the one that lets you adjust the voltage and the current limit. Now, of course, this can't really compare to a big desktop adjustable power supply where you can push out, say, 100 watts or 200 watts. But for the average, you know, small electronics that you're going to want to power up, this thing will work just fine. Um, and if you add heat sinking and you buy a, a more powerful model, which really isn't that much more expensive, um, you can push even more watts through these. So they're great little boards. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. And please remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe.